Yo, what's going on, guys? Christy Flakes. So there's nothing more I like in the game of basketball than a beautiful pass. Yes, guys, we're all used to the basics of like the bounce pass, the chest pass, and the over the head pass. But every now and then you get a guy like LeBron James, or you look back at Steve Nash or Magic Johnson, if you're from that era. All these great NBA passers that just like wow you with this amazing pass. That you're like, how do they think to even do that? Let alone how do they even pull it off? So for today's video, guys, we are going to see what if every single NBA player had 99 passing. Just the how these teams are going to run through, how the offense is going to run is every coach's dream, where everybody is making an executed, beautiful pass out there. But before we get started, my friends, let me hit you with that holiday assist. Yes. This video is sponsored by Swag Bucks. Swag Bucks allows you to watch videos, play games, or take surveys. In return, you will get awesome rewards like cash or gift cards that you can use to buy things like VC. I just use this myself because if you click the link in the description below, you will get $5 to fill out your first survey. So go click below and start earning. Okay, so we are going to actually check out some of the rosters here. One team that I'm very intrigued by is the Pelicans, just because they have two of the most dominant big guys in the NBA. So having every single player be able to pass those guys and feed them the ball in the exact spot is going to be absolutely crazy. So looking at the rosters right here, I will actually go to like the All-NBA players available. If you want to pause on a certain team, feel free to do that as I go through this right here. But yeah, so you go to all players. LeBron James, 98 overall still. See, guys like LeBron are not really going to benefit all day greatly from this type of video because their passing is already pretty damn good out there. Uh, same with like Giannis, guys like that. But, you know, big guys who are not normally good passers, like their ratings can go up really high, things like that. Um, you look at the top players out here, like a lot of them are still the same. You get down here a little bit more, you got DeMarcus, 93 overall. Chris Paul, 93. Poor Zing is jumping up to a 92 overall. I think he's normally like a 90 or something like that. But yeah, so no like no like crazy X factors quite yet. Um, it's more about how like the role players are going to kind of run out here. Like Avery Bradley, he's normally like an 84 overall player. You put up his passing, he's already a good shooter and already a good defender. So you put up his passing also, he goes up to an 89 overall. So you got Andre Drummond at 89, Eric Bledsoe 88. So yeah, man, this is gonna be absolutely crazy. How Lou Williams at 87 on the Clippers. Uh, but yeah, man, there's definitely some things I want to talk about as we start the simulation here. So let's get ahead and get started on that. I am going to focus on the Pelicans just because, like I was saying, that is a team that I am definitely intrigued by. Um, but yeah, man, so let me know in the comment section below. What is the best pass you have ever seen? And the reason I asked that question is I'm going to tell you guys mine. It's kind of a cop-out just because, um, well, it's not really a pass. It's not really a pass, but I need you guys to find me this footage because I have not been able to find it in like 10 years. Maybe it hasn't been that long, but it's definitely been a long time. So there was this one play. There was this one play where it was Baron Davis. He was posting up near the free throw line on Jason Kidd. And what he did is he went to go pass it around his back, like this really crispy pass. But instead of doing that, he faked it around his back. And then he went like between his legs with it. And he did like a post fadeaway on Jason Kidd and made the shot. I know it was not a real pass, but it was a great uh, pass fake, and I absolutely love it. Yo, guys, give me one second to do this stuff real quick here, and then we're going to talk some more about passing and the NBA. I also did want to show you guys this real quick here. I forgot to show at the beginning of the video. Um, this is the passing stats we went with. So it is uh, passing accuracy, passing vision, and also passing IQ. So all that stuff is 99 for every single player in the NBA here. Also, guys, another quick note. This roster was also made by Franchise City. He is the guy that makes all these rosters for me. The link to his channel is in the description below. He does an awesome job. You guys need to go check him out. Also, go subscribe to his channel. Does a lot of awesome content, guys. I promise you, you will not be disappointed about that. All right, let's finish up the simulation. And now the next question I have for you guys after your favorite, like, all-time pass is um, who do you think is the greatest passer you've ever witnessed in the NBA as a whole and also out of your favorite NBA team? So, uh, my favorite NBA team, the Detroit Pistons, we've never had, like, any, like, really, like, flashy passers on this team because Sean Sabellis was always more of a play it safe kind of guy when it came to passing, but he also had a few crispy passes every now and then. Um, I know one time Allen Iverson was here when he was on the Pistons for, like, a year, year and a half. He had this crazy pass. It was a full court pass where he, it was a bounce pass between some dude's leg and he hit Richard Hamilton for a layup. Like that was like one of the greatest passes of that season by any player at all. Um, but I feel like that's kind of a cop out answer for me to say he's like the best piston passer of all time. Just because he only played for like a season or whatnot. Um, you know, I'm sure Isaiah Thomas was. I never really witnessed him personally because I never really watched him or anything like that. But yeah, so I would probably say the best I've ever seen on the Pistons was Chauncey Billups. And then the NBA as a whole. This is where it gets kind of more difficult because um, a lot of people are going to say LeBron James is like the best passer they've ever seen. And I also agree with that. I, I feel like LeBron James, like if he wanted to, could average like 15 to 20 assists per game. If that is solely what he focused on. Just his passing IQ is off the charts. Like there ain't no 99 overall for that man. He's a freaking 9,999999999 overall for that when it comes to that. But, you know, there's also guys like Steve Nash that I've seen. 
um like i swear man it, it felt like steve nash had like eyes in the back of his head or it felt like he was it felt like there was like mirrors surrounding the court he was looking at those mirrors so he knew exactly where everybody else was at so steve nash is definitely another uh honorable mention for my list here personally you also have jason kidd jason kidd was so much fun to watch like i loved watching him operate a basketball team just because he played the game so smart like his passes is like yes that is the pass that's the only pass that could have been made in that situation for that basket to be made not only that just like his ability off the pick and roll throwing alley-oops was always so beautiful to see chris paul's another guy i like to talk about uh ben oh my god don't get me started on ben simmons this kid is crazy guys ben simmons oh my life like this dude can pass that damn basketball in the, the what makes it so beautiful when it comes to magic johnson and ben simmons and lebron james i hate to use ben simmons name and those guys you know with those guys in the same sentence but the reason i do is because they all have that six eight six nine six ten body out there and it just makes those passes that guard would normally make look so much better out there so yeah ben simmons well, he might be on the top of my list by the time he retires. Who knows about that? But anyway, guys, look at the records right here. The Rockets actually finishing number one. So they got James Harden and Chris Paul, who are already great passers on that team. Uh, you got the Thunder. You got Carmelo out there throwing out dimes. You don't say that often, but he does, apparently now. Paul George, Russell Westbrook. War and plus, guys, oh, yo, let me check out Let me check out the Warriors stats or the uh, Thunder stats here real quick. Just because Russell Westbrook is one of those guys where, damn, he only got 7.5 assists? I guess not everybody's passing like that. That does make somewhat of a sense. But, yo, Russell Westbrook, the big part about his game is sometimes he'll throw a crazy pass and he'll get a turnover. Like, right here, he got 3.5 turnovers, which is kind of confusing. It's like, how are they getting so many turnovers? Unless that's, like I was saying, from, like, stealing the basketball. But nobody's going to steal that many times a game on any team like that. Or maybe shot blocks or things like that. You can't think it would be from passing, right? Here we go. Simulate through date here. See how this all goes. And that's a W right there for them. So, Russell Westbrook still getting that MVP at uh 26.5 points 12 rebounds and 7.4 assists per game very curious who's actually going to lead this team in uh or lead the nba in assists we got ben simmons who has 17 points about 10 rebounds and six assists out there lou williams 5.4 assists andrew drummond 5.5 so i think we're definitely gonna see a lot of players that are kind of in that um i would say that four to seven assist range just because listen man like these guys are passing the basketball then the next player that catches that ball they want to do a nice pass too so it is kind of hard to rack them up out here all NBA first teams, anything crazy with this? Russell, James Harden, Giannis, Paul George, Demarcus, no LeBron James, but you know, Giannis, he's definitely been balling out. Paul George, um, all NBA second, CJ McCollum, so good for him making the team there. Kyrie Irving, yeah, it's like he only averages about five, six assists per game, like in real life. So adding that to his game, uh, it definitely puts him up there as one of the best point guards, if not the best point guard in the NBA. No, you still got Russell Westbrook and Stephen Curry and Damian Lillard and Kyrie Irving. You know, I'm not going to say who the best point guard is. It's really hard to tell, guys. There's so many great ones. Thankfully, we're blessed with all that talent in the NBA. LeBron James, Chris Topps, and Marc Gasol. All-NBA third team, Chris Paul, Damian Lillard, Anthony Davis, Kevin Durant, and also Andre Drummond. All defensive teams not really affected by this. All the Lions ball to make it and Chris Dunn. Yo, that's uh, kind of interesting to see. Yo, who was that? Wait, who is that? All, all rookie. Yo, somebody. Yo, somebody finessed me, man. I, I could have swore there was a name on there I didn't recognize. Sandarius Thornwell. Shout out to you, man, though. Making the all rookie second team. All right, so player stats on the season. This is where I'm kind of uh, curious about. No, we're going to league leaders, actually. So, leading the NBA in assist is. Russ. Wow, that is absolutely crazy, man. Oh, my God. So we got all these guys getting out and active. That's because they didn't play at all. So who's like not lean, like who's not getting any assists at all? That's what I want to see. So like getting like the least amount of assists, which is probably based off minutes, is Caleb Swanigan. But that's still averaging 1.1 assists. So if you've played an NBA game, you are averaging at least one assist per game. We have over 297 people averaging over one assist per game in the NBA. That is absolutely crazy to you know really think about. Um but damn, like nobody like really getting those double digits. Is everybody passing the ball fluidly out there? I was not expecting. I thought there was gonna be certain guys that were gonna run the team, have the ball in their hand, average like 20, 30 assists out there. Uh, turnovers. Russell Westbrook leading that category. Also makes sense. You pass the ball more, you get more turnovers. But if you have not passing, then you think you wouldn't get that. I don't know, 2K. You're confusing me about this video. This video is confusing me. And I also noticed too, outside of Giannis. Um, well, I guess that's turnovers we're looking at. Let's go back to assists. Yeah, so pretty much, I guess you got Draymond Green on there. Uh, Tim Frazier getting 6.6. Good for him, I suppose. Jared Jack on the Knicks. Okay. But yeah, um, all these guys are pretty... Roberson, really? They're all guards. Like, I guess you got Al Horford on there. I, I really don't know what that comes down to. But yeah, man, a lot of these guys are guards. You got a few forwards in Iguodala. Also, Ben Simmons, Marcus Gasol, 
uh besides for al horford is the first center i'm seeing out there so yeah no like any like really surprising guys there it's like oh my god how'd that guy make it to the top of the list but overall pretty basic stuff here man uh definitely an experiment i definitely really wanted to do for this video though just because i was curious how it was all gonna work out but honestly it's just it's a lot of good passing by everybody in the nba like nobody is really uh racking up the assists but everybody's getting them so that's uh interesting but here we go guys let's submit these playoffs see who wins it all see who is the pet who see who is the best passing team in the nba and what do we got all these teams get eliminated okay so moving on to the conference finals we have the pelicans houston okc golden state cleveland toronto uh detroit and the 76 there's nothing absolutely crazy there to see similar like current round here and raptors gone warriors are knocked out 76ers gone pelicans gone so we got houston okc cleveland and the, the uh, detroit pistons in the conference finals similar current round and detroit gone okc gone houston rockets number one seed versus the number one seed cleveland cavaliers it does make sense if those guys are the number one seed that means they have the best up and down basketball talent if the plays are running perfectly it makes sense that they would make it to the nba finals right at least I, that makes sense in my head simulate current round see who wins it all and we got the cleveland cavaliers wow man houston y'all just blew a 3-1 lead there ain't no there ain't no assist to help that y'all just got that that all 3-1 turnover open there here we go cleveland winning it all lebron james your finals mvp at 25 points 12 rebounds and 5.6 assists so the conclusion to draw from this video if everybody had 99 passing nobody would be everybody would be good at passing but due to the ball movement nobody's gonna be getting no double digit assists hope you guys all enjoyed this video man be sure to drop that like subscribe if you're new to my channel check out my boy franchise city and peace out my friends